Okay, adding and subtracting positive integers. These are just the positive integers we're talking about. So remember, integers are all these numbers that are not fractions, including the negative numbers, the positive numbers, and zero, which is neither positive nor negative. So zoom in a little bit here. If a positive number, like 2, is added to an integer, you move right to the right on the number line. So start at 2, then you move 1, 2, 3, because you're adding 3. We know this. If you have a negative number, start at that place, and then you're adding on. We're just adding on a positive number at the moment. So starting from negative 5, remember your number line doesn't have to start or have 0 in the middle. It can start wherever you need it to, as long as they're evenly spaced. So negative 5 plus 2, I will move across 1, 2, and the answer then is negative 3. So I'm still on the negative side, even though I've added 2. If a positive number, so remember anything without a sign in front of it is assumed to be positive, is subtracted from an integer, you move left. So if you're subtracting, you're going left. Or, yeah, going down. Start at 2, 2, minus 3, take away 3. We start at 2, and we do 1, hop to 1, another hop to 0, because it gets a place, and then another hop to negative 1. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Starting at negative 4, again, our number line doesn't have to start on 0 or have 0 even in it. Negative 4 minus 2. Minus means left. So start at negative 4 and take away a further 2. Another way to think about it is you are $4, you owe somebody $4, and then you borrow another $2, and so now you owe them $6. So calculate the answer to these uh, with addition and subtraction, and so I'm going to use my number line. So for the first one, I've got negative 2, so I'm going to start here at negative 2, and then I'm going to add 3. So that's 1, 2, 3 jumps, and that's going to give me, well, that's a terrible equal sign, equals 1. So I started from negative 2 and added 3, and that got me to 1. For the next example, I'm going to start from negative 8. Here I am at negative 8. So negative 8 plus 1 means I'm going to move to the right, gives me negative 7. The next one, I'm going to start at 5. And we know that if it doesn't have a plus or a minus on it, we assume it to be positive. So the positive integer 5. Take away 7. Minus means left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 gives me negative 2. And then for the last one, negative 3 minus 3. Just remember that ne minus means left. So negative 3 is here. And if I'm going to take away three more, one, two, three, that gives me, or leads me to, negative six.